On the 25th of February, I don't see any election. That means Bola Ahmed Tinubu cannot be president in this country before. Atiku. Atiku. He's a winner. On your poli that is what I saw. Oh, God, why? Why? If to the boom is this election, eh? I will not talk to God again. No. It will be become Nigeria president today. You will suffer. So I Hello, everyone. So there is a sound of happiness. I thought they are just rioting concerning the election, but I later got to know that it's a sound of celebration because Tinebu just won. So they are celebrating it like seriously. Really, Nigeria, we are our own worst enemy. Guys, you should see the celebrating going on right now as I speak with you in Oju Olegba and Surulele. Surulele. Everywhere, Osho, the celebration is crazy. The god DJs, drinking, having fun, and all of that. Guys, I don't know if it's in the get fun, so this one shocked me, honestly. It shocked me, eh? <laughs> I get You see that man that is a lot more jubilating And Oluomo son said, now we get Lagos, now we get Nigeria. Although the Lagos state governor is checking, but APC allowed some APC guy today. And he told me no fear in Lagos states. Samuel Olu is going to be the next governor. I mean, considering the fact that this guy, Peter, will be won Lagos. The like governorship election is going to be different. I heard something yesterday that Tinubu is already in power, so they will use that power to win legal state, irrespective for whatever happens, I don't know. But let's continue. Let's read what this guy got to say. Elso Lumoson, he said, free announcement for those at the back. Samuel Wolu is going to be elected for second term. If you like, go and pack everyone in your village to come and vote. There is no promo during the governorship election. For those of you that attended Sunday and not school of politics, you can choose to remain ignorant to the fact that politics is not for the faint hearted. Obi is a boy. I'm even smarter than him. We have this motel lot himself jubilating, celebrating and having, you know, the best time of his life, obviously. Chief of Staff to the Speaker, my brother and friend, that is fine. I the Chief of the Guys, we all know that there was loads of prophecy concerning this election. <laughs> Everywhere you turn is all about prophecy, even on social media, prophecy, open prophecy. Even till today, even while they call the winner, they're still prophecy. We don't even know anymore. One thing I know, it is not over 
until it is over. There is no need to focus on whose prophecy came to pass. We should keep trusting in God, hoping that one day Nigeria will do better and that this country will see a better days guys that is my prayer for nigeria i know it will be well it will be. Atiku. Atiku. Is your winner. that is what i saw in the realm of the spirit wait and see that i've told you no on the 25th of february i don't see any election Yes, I don't see. I've checked it. We have to. Why are you looking at me like that? What's the truth? This is the completion of the prophecy I gave that APC will win this year's presidential election, June 21st last year, as the Spirit of God revealed to me. This APC will be winning this election with over 40% votes. The Labour Party will be having over 20% votes. The PDP will be having over 20% votes also and other parties. And I also want to add that the current governor of Lagos State will also win the governorship election in Lagos State. And like I said in my first video, whoever that ends up this person that wins should make sure that Nigeria becomes a great nation. And I want to quickly add something. The person that is to win this election is purely spiritual, it's destiny. It has nothing to do with age or anything. I pray for peace in Nigeria and I pray that God will lift us up in Jesus' name. Amen. This then is the idiosyncratic, the Gaffer, Prophet Passion Zaba. I'm just boarding my flight going to Nigeria to celebrate the president which the Lord has chosen, President Tinubu. We saw it before anybody saw it. We announced it before others. I know other prophets were saying this one and this one. And others were hiding to say, I said it before. But let me tell you, prophets is what we are. If you want to hear from God, come to us. God called me to be a prophet of prophets. And I enjoy my life with my duties, with my beautiful wife, with my children. And I pray that God will bless you. Najimbi, honor it. Feel it. And in Nigeria, I already saw the elections when I prophesied International Day of Prophecy. Yes. And I saw this man with the glasses, and the name was like T. T. And I saw him walking into power this February. We we live in the future. We are the prophetic. And prophets are hiding, scared to say it. Me, we, we know what happens, so we say it. Yes. But this one is walking in power, 100% guaranteed. Yes. Mm. If Tinubu wins, all of you are going to John. That is God. I've spoken. Yes, let it go live. Let it go live. I've spoken. So, guys, here we have the president elect Bola Ametinibu has received the certificate of return from INEC in Abuja this afternoon in the first. <laughs> While people are still hoping, some people are still hoping that something has to be done about the results. Who others me? Why I brought that group for what? Peter Peter Sebo could come down here and me. Why? Remove me, he can't pull up and remove now. Remove God now. God, why? Why? Every day I pray. How much, how much data we I don't spend? How much data? <laughs> Why Tinibu win? Why you win? <laughs> you know, I, suffer where we don't suffer, God, God, you know now. Nah. You know the guy suffer, we don't suffer. <laughs> Electoral officers in Imo states said that election didn't hold in some polling units myself in case there is any result from that pulling unit. I have 12 pulling units. No election was conducted in any of them. I worked work as an SPO at uh, Ubutu. Uh, a in Oru West local government. But unfortunately the election did not go. 
and uh, we want to, I want to do the needs to, to exit my fiance from all blends by submitting this form EC40G, filled by my BOs. And unfortunately, nobody collected this from And guys, and guys, we got Mr. Jolof here. Mr. Jolof here is so convinced that Atiku would have won that one that Peter will be choose to scatter the whole thing. He called it wasted votes, you know, just to frustrate Atiku. He said that the election or this election should be declared inconclusive. In fact, he came with a lawyer who tried to interpret the law. So, guys, you can listen to it carefully. Because what the law states, Tinubu cannot be president right now because he did not win the FCT and he did not get 25% yes. in FCT. So, interpret the law for the general public to hear. Okay. According to the law, section 134 of the Constitution says when there are two or more candidates okay. running for president, the minimum requirement is the candidates. For you to become president, you have to have the highest number of votes. That's number one. Okay. And then you need to have to third uh, twenty-five percent of the vote in at least, which is minimum, a minimum of two third of the states. Okay. And the federal capital territory. And um, and the federal capital territory. Shoot. Now, if I've been hearing um, the other side, the APC, claiming that the FCT is included in the state. If you include the FCT in the states, you have 37 states. And that leaves you with a fraction. Okay. I believe it's that presence of fraction that made the writers of the constitution include that word and the FCT. Because if you have um, 37 states, the fraction is 24.6. How are we going to get 0.6 of the states? And if you look at the 1979 case between Awolowo and Shagari, the court is really clear that you cannot have a fraction of the state. I believe that decision of the court was what informed the framers of this constitution to include the word and, and which means if you must be present in this country, you no. need to win 25% in two thirds of that 24 states and, and the yes. higher capital territory. And it's not yes. negotiable. So we need to label this point as much as we want. Yes. This is my opinion, it's not subject to court, but this is what comes easily to mind. This yes. is literal interpretation. So it's literal interpretation. As we stand, yeah. it will be have um, uh, 25% in... In about 16, 17, 16 states. 17 states. Meaning, first of all, he has not met the first requirement to be the president of the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he won Abuja. Yes. Mm -hmm. The People's Democratic Party will make over 25 percent into third of the states, yes. Mm -hmm. And then the PDP, uh, APC, APC, they made to third as well, yes. the yes. the state. Mm -hmm. but both of them did not get 25 percent in no. the FCT. Mm -hmm. So neither the PDP or the APC can be declared president. So, what is going to happen now is that this election has to be declared inconclusive, they are not going to cancel any state and order for a rerun. This election has to be declared inconclusive, in my in my own opinion, and then a runoff should be had between the top two candidates, which in this case is the PDP and the APC. So keep calm, keep calm. Let's obey the law, because uh, uh, to me, I don't want to go to the Supreme Court before person will not do primaries. Then also <laughs> the election. So keep calm, Nigerians. The law is very clear. It's clear. And Mahmoud Yakubu, follow the law. Just follow the law. Please. It's as plain as day. Very clear. Thank you. What has featured as the news of his this morning that Arise News has been pulled off a. You can see here. Since the criminal enterprise has become a crackdown, Arise News has been pulled off a. Guys, get your VPN ready twitter is next arise tv is not showing and they also said that twitter is not working i got the information that there is something wrong with twitter and stuff guys the fight will never stop and i think peter b is ready to take this case to court he said he wouldn't congratulate ametinibu yet this matter big pass also no only god fee airports interview for this matter listen to this 
politics, go and check. I left PDP then, I joined up. I contested the election, won the election, and somebody else was declared. For three years, no Nigerian had ever done it. I was in court. There was every intention, negotiation for me to drop my case. And I said, if I lose, I'll go home. I don't want any compromise. I was in court for three years and I won. When I was being impeached, go and ask them, the House members, we reached several agreements and I said, I'm not part of it. I went for the impeachment, came back as the first person to come back for impeachment. I was removed here one year after. I never conducted the election. I went to court. Now let's talk about the issues. I'm talking about the fighting going on now. Tribal war. Some people are believe that when Peter Obi becomes president, you know, people will suffer. The a road for good eight years of Papa Sojo. Suddenly, the Ajak Obi, Obi are being Ajak, if Obi become Nigerian president today, we will suffer. We will suffer. We will saw a lot of journeys. Because they hate Tunubu, because Tunubu is not agree. It's not agree with them because this politician you are seeing, they may come from morning to night, they contact where they can benefit. You are saying Dino Malaya, Dino Malaya is running up and down. Do you think Dino Malaya is for masses? Do you think Dino Malaya is for masses? Do you know how many people that cry for money for hospital? They want to pay their hospital bill, there is no money. Go to Malaya houses, the one in his village, the one in Abuja, go and see expensive cars that the man has there. I still crying what becomes the in Nigeria again. You think these people are fighting for us? I am telling you, if you still join the group of people that are supporting Obi today, go on to you. Go on to you. Because Kabas have already ajacked Peter Obi from us. We that use our life to fight for him, the Kabas have ajacked Peter Obi. They have ajacked him. Everything you are seeing for anything you are seeing from Peter Obi now, Peter Obi is just pretending. If you become Nigerian president, he will tell you that my hand. That's what he's going to tell you. Because he has agreed on different things to favor him. He has agreed on different things to favor all these cabals. That's why you are seeing them. They come out in large number. They are ready to fight. They are ready but that is different from Ayo Farosho view. Ayo Farosho, former governor of Ikiti State, got this to say about Peter Obi. Listen, guys, and subscribe to my channel. If he does not carry this, Peter Obi alone will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. The government won't stand the test of time. Peter Obi is an institution now. Mm. It's not, you know, Peter Obi is a very smart guy. But that, that has been Peter Obi. You see him carrying his bag alone. Enter Moto alone. Everybody saw. He said he has been using the same research for 17 years. Excuse me, sir. Peter Obi is a man of little want, little needs. He's saying the truth. If you look at his shoe, it's modest. He will tell you that my shoe is to make me comfortable. As long as it's not torn, Peter Obi deserves what is happening. But let me say, whosoever becomes the president of Nigeria should rally us. Give a right of place. I'm not saying an appointment for Peter Obi. Eh? Peter Obi will remove that person from office in another election. Mark my words. So are you saying this same wave? This same wave will not stop. Be repeated. This same wave, this Peter Obi, the people supporting him, the Peter Obi that I know. After this general election, they will continue. Even though the next cycle of elections is I in four years. I'm telling you, those guys, however, who... Now, after Tinubu was declared <laughs> president, when Omokri released this video, listen to it, guys. God well, the blunders continue. In his first speech after he was declared president-elect by the Independent National Electoral Commission, Bola Tinubu blundered again. He described himself as governor. He says that without your dedication, I will not be standing before you as governor. And he didn't even do it in proper grammar. He said that I will not... Uh, I mean, you just have to listen to it yourself. Well... He's been declared. We're going to have to expect more of this. Uh, obviously, he has uh, some of these challenges. Although we, to his credit, we can say that, you know, he's a very good manager of uh, people and resources. You know, nevertheless, we have to expect that this is going to be uh, a quotidian uh, task right now, a daily affair, these gaffes. In any case, listen to Bola Tinubu after he's been declared as president-elect and put your comments in the comment section. What do you expect from this administration? Without your dedication, I will not stand in before you as governor. And let us not forget the fight among celebrities. Guys, 
it is very, very, very serious. The fight among celebrities. Like, I don't understand. I don't know. I feel like after this election, I feel like people already made enemies. I don't know. I don't know. These politicians are still friends, whether they are in the same parties or different parties. They will still be friends, but once they give you money, that is it. They forget you. You might even come to them while they are in office and they will deny you. So I see no reason why celebrities should be fighting themselves, especially Yoruba celebrities. Just like this guy Lege calling Iyabojo for supporting Peter Obi. Now people, this is not called for. for. Peter Obi, Obi that. Oh, hello, bossy. Oh, hello, bossy. Gentlemen, I went to Kokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokok